BNA Income Tax Planner is your ideal solution for easily computing the alternative minimum tax and minimum tax credit for any taxpayer. Taxpayers may face paying the alternative minimum tax for a variety of reasons, generally triggered by scenarios that involve their state taxes, especially in high tax states, investment interest expenses, second mortgages, qualified small business stock, incentive stock options, long-term contracts, depreciation of assets, net operating losses, and more. After first opening BNA Income Tax Planner, let's begin by creating a new client file. To do this, simply click File on the menu bar and then New Client File. Select Assumptions to set up the basic information. Enter any assumptions and data you may have for the client, including their name, type of analysis that you want to perform, and so on. You may be interested to know that BNA Income Tax Planner offers one of the most flexible and comprehensive planning options available anywhere. You can set up to 20 side-by-side -side columns of federal and state tax data for multiple years and scenarios. There are seven modes of analysis available to you as well, including years within cases, cases within years, adjustment, difference, taxpayer spouse, annualization, and minor child. So for now, let's select the Cases Within Years option, where we're using the word Cases to refer to an alternative tax planning option or scenario. This will allow us to compare alternatives within the same year. First, let's increase the number of cases to two. Then increase the number of years to two. We'll leave the other values as defaults. Click OK to go to the main worksheet. Next, enter the number of personal exemptions, 2, on row 2 of the main worksheet in all years and all cases. In our example, you see that one case representing not exercising incentive stock options, or ISOs, while the second case represents exercising ISOs. We can name each case individually by clicking on the Assumptions option in the toolbar and selecting Case Titles from within the Assumptions box. Now that the cases have been set up, let's enter the client's wages. We'll put in $268,311 in Case 1 and $489,200 in Case 2. We can access the Ordinary Income Sheet from the main worksheet. This is where we select the Wages option and enter the wage in the row titled Taxpayers FICA Wages. Next, we will hide the first column, No ISOs, in 2010, because it doesn't contain any information about ISOs we exercised or about any minimum tax credits. Click Edit from the menu toolbar and select Hide Columns to choose the appropriate column, and then click OK. In Case 2, ISOs of 2009, we want to enter the spread, meaning the difference between the exercise price and fair market value of the stock. We do this by clicking on the tentative minimum tax row of the main worksheet, and then entering a positive amount on the other deferral adjustments row. In this case, we'll put $50,000 as our positive amount in the year of exercise, for example, 2010. Now, back to the main worksheet. If you look at row 20, Net Federal Tax, you will notice that in 2009, the net federal tax before exercising the incentive stock options, no ISOs, is less than the net federal tax after exercising ISOs. This is because, after exercising, it reflects the tax from row 16, tentative minimum tax. Let's wrap up by showing what happens in the year of sale. 
2010. First, start on the Alternative Minimum Tax Worksheet and click on the AMT Capital Gain Slash Loss row. This takes us to the AMT Gain Slash Loss Worksheet, shown here. Now we enter the spread of $50,000 as a negative adjustment on the AMT Adjustments to Other Long-Term Gain Loss. We do this in the 2010 column, which is the year of sale. Finally, we head back to the main worksheet and click on the Net Short-Term Gain or Loss row. This takes us to the Capital Gains and Losses worksheet, where we enter the capital gain of $50,000, still in the 2010 column. Now, if the ISO generated a minimum tax credit, the credit will appear in the Minimum Tax Credit row of the Credits worksheet. To view the credit, just return to the main worksheet, click on the Non-Refundable Credits, and click on the Minimum Tax Credit to see the details of the calculation. This credit can be used in future years. With B&A Income Tax Planner, it's that easy to handle not only the incentive stock options scenario, but any of the other scenarios that can trigger an alternative minimum tax requirement for taxpayers. For a full product demonstration, contact your B&A sales representative.